Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration. You are currently viewing an out-of-date version of this file that has been preserved for posterity. Please note that information presented herein may be misleading or incorrect. Uploader Note The following documentation is the earliest Foundation record of SCP-3844. However, this was originally drafted before the Foundation formalized the process of describing containment procedures and anomalies. It is archived here solely for posterity. Correspondence from the Dolomite Mountains regarding anomalous activity 21st of April, 1906 Dear Frederick, a dragon. There was a dragon in the mountains, and it looked just like we'd imagined. Galveston and I had to follow our guide for about six hours before we first saw the beast. It soared over one peak, let out a low roar that loosened snow from the mountainside, and then dived out of sight. Its wings blocked out the sun like a cloud passing overhead. I wish the whole lab could have seen it. It took us another two hours to reach the dragon's cavern. It was a massive cave, filled with gems and goblets and other such valuables. We never reached the end of that cave, but judging from the echoes our footfalls made, we would have needed rations to make it there. We gave up our search for the dragon for the day, thinking it was still flying about and started our return trek to the outside. And then, just as we summoned the last hill of treasure, we heard that roar. We froze, unsure if the noise came from our front or our back. The tension only faded after it spoke. It welcomed us as guests. The dragon motioned for us to come closer as it ambled in front of the maw of the cave. It had an accent like yours, except lower and more gravelly. It took Galveston and I a few moments to come to our senses, and our guide a few more. The beast was quite the gentleman, if I do say so. It changed its form to resemble a young man to make us feel more relaxed. I held a lengthy discussion with it while Galveston took notes. It was surprisingly well versed in modern day affairs. When I introduced ourselves as men of science, it called us a new age of knights. But do not fret. I did my duty. I'm surprised it worked, given our extreme lack of resources. I negotiated reasonable terms to keep the dragon contained within the Dolomites. I've transcribed the exact operating procedure below, but it agreed in writing. I can only hope it doesn't double-cross us, but until then, those Italian officials should be content with our work, even if we've never handled an anomaly this massive before. I will return once I've met with the Italians again to organize the whole affair. Next time, Frederick, you'll come with us. You and George and the whole lab. Words cannot do this majestic beast justice. I'll bring some gin so we can drink together one day. Sincerely, Lester. Here are the negotiation terms. The dragon known as Tharnok, henceforth the Anomaly, has agreed to Limit expeditions from its abode to one time per day. Expeditions will remain within the confines of the Dolomite Mountains and will maintain a low elevation. Refrain from vocalizing during expeditions. In return, the Anomaly Investigation Foundation, henceforth the Foundation, has agreed to Recruit one ambassador to interact with the Anomaly once per week. Punish any attempts to steal valuables from the Anomaly. To maintain the secrecy of the anomaly, the nation of Italy, henceforth the state, will discourage civilians from entering the Dolomite Mountains, discredit any accounts of the anomaly. Next iteration from August 12, 1941 Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration You are currently viewing an out-of-date version of this file that has been preserved for posterity. Please note that information presented herein may be misleading or incorrect. Item Number SCP-3844 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures While proper facilities are under construction, SCP-3844 is to be contained at its dwelling within the Dolomite Mountains. A 100m by 100m perimeter is to be regularly patrolled by Foundation personnel to ensure no civilians come into contact 
with SCP-3844. Anti-aircraft artillery is to be positioned around SCP-3844's dwelling. Artillery is to fire at any airborne entities over the containment perimeter. Any evidence of the existence of SCP-3844 is to be attributed to bombing runs. Once a week, one D-Class is to be sent to interact with SCP-3844. Stealing items from SCP-3844 is prohibited. Description: SCP-3844 is a winged reptile, measuring 73.76 meters from tail to head, with a wingspan of 67.42 meters. It is estimated to mass 27,000 kilograms. SCP-3844 scales are of a purple hue, except around the stomach where they are much lighter. SCP-3844 is capable of expelling fire at 3400 degrees Celsius from its mouth through an unknown method. SCP-3844 is capable of speech in at least 14 languages, and has an extensive knowledge of world events. During interactions with personnel, SCP-3844 takes on the form of an adult male human. However, SCP-3844 can mimic the appearance of any human. SCP-3844 inhabits a cavern that contains a currently unquantified amount of valuable metals. SCP-3844 often burrows underneath these materials, where it presumably sleeps. Addendum: The following is a transcript of an interview between Dr. Lester Fegmont and SCP-3844. Begin log. Good evening. Lester, it's been decades, I believe. Although I guess you never specified a time for your return visit, or circumstances. I'm sorry about the, er, uh, updates, but wartime calls for extreme measures. Ah, so the New Age Knights still fight old-time battles. I wouldn't say that we fight, really. We just make sure the battles don't expose things people aren't supposed to see. Like me? Yes, like you. But trust me. There are much, much worse things. I see. Did you at least bring the gin this time? I might run the show around here, but I still can't drink on the job. <laughs> Next time, then. Of course. And will I ever be allowed to fly again? Hopefully, but not before the war ends. The war is your whole world, isn't it? Not so much. Governments just pay us to keep anomalies out of the hands of the other side. Can't imagine what would happen if people got a hold of anomalous rifles or… Dragons? Yes, dragons. Do you still perform research like you used to? I remember how you spoke of the lab. We do, we do. One day, this war will end, but others of… Your type showed no signs of slowing down. Sharpening your swords. I guess that's the apt analogy. And your fellow men eyed me the same way knights did too, like a prize. They're just taking the measurements I should have made when we first met. I'll come back when we discover new things to evaluate. And at the end of the war, right? And at the end of the war. I do hope I can trust you to uphold that. Of course you can. But until then, do you have any further questions? I believe all of mine have been answered. Don't worry about me when there are larger issues at hand. You have a war to fight after all. End log. Next iteration from March 22, 1984 Item number SCP-3844 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures SCP-3844 is to be contained at its dwellings within the Dolomite Mountains. A 100 by 100 meter perimeter is to be regularly patrolled by Foundation personnel, to ensure no civilians come into contact with SCP-3844. Anti-aircraft artillery is to be positioned around SCP-3844's dwelling. Artillery is only to be used in the event of a full-scale containment breach. Once a week, one member of the SCP-3844 project is to be sent to interact with SCP-3844 and take temperature and radiation measurements. A team of researchers are to take size measurements, 
perform IQ tests, and determine the maximum temperature of fire SCP-3844 can expel once per month. Personnel caught stealing items from SCP-3844 are to be disciplined accordingly. SCP-3844 is to be provided with the following reading material as part of its monthly measurements. Time Magazine Science Magazine Nature Magazine Communications of the ACM Description SCP-3844 is a winged reptile, measuring 50.22 meters from tail to head, and with a wingspan of 42.78 meters. According to most recent measurements, it is estimated to mass 18,000 kg. SCP-3844 scales are of a blue hue, except around the stomach where they are much lighter. SCP-3844 is capable of forcefully expelling a methane vapor from its mouth, achieving temperatures as high as 1,950 degrees Celsius, and igniting it through unknown means. SCP-3844 is capable of speech in seven languages and has moderate knowledge of world events. During direct interactions with personnel, SCP-3844 takes the form of an adult male. However, SCP-3844 claims it can mimic the appearance of any human. SCP-3844 inhabits an immense cavern that contains 2.69 times 10 to the 6th power kilograms of valuable metals, approximately 2.6 billion US dollars. SCP-3844 often burrows underneath these materials, where it presumably sleeps. In conversation, SCP-3844 has confirmed that it is the inspiration behind a number of European myths involving dragons. It also claims to be the model for the Welsh flag. I used to be red, you know. A vibrant red to match the fire I breathe. Those were indeed good days. Addendum. The following is a transcript of an interview between O5-2 and SCP-3844. Begin Log I see you finally returned. A few years late, but I guess that's only to be expected. Yes, I guess I am a little late. Sorry about that. Don't worry about it. You're obviously busy, and in the meantime, I've had all manner of new reading material. How long had you known about the nature of light? Decades, at least. And the inner workings of our smallest building block? We cracked open the atom during the war. Before long, you might have an explanation for my kind. Well, you'd be surprised how far science can get you. My division has discovered that some things aren't even anomalous in the first place. So, has science finally found a way to let me stretch my wings? Unfortunately, due to certain advances in radar, we can't risk you leaving the cavern. However, I've asked others to devise a way to possibly expand your home. Oh, have you? I'm looking forward to this now. I do have to be on my way. Hopefully, I will see you again. I hope so as well. End log. Next iteration from November 4, 2007. Item number SCP-3844. Object Class Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. The remains of SCP-3844 are to be kept in a standard containment locker for non-anomalous materials. The former location of SCP-3844's dwelling is to be inspected once every 72 hours for possible anomalous activity. Description: SCP-3844 was a winged reptile, measuring 10.30 meters from tail to head and with a wingspan of 8.33 meters. According to most recent measurements, it was estimated to weigh 235 kilograms. SCP-3844's scales were of a pale blue hue, except around the stomach where they were completely white. SCP-3844 was capable of forcefully expelling a methane vapor from its mouth, achieving temperatures as high as 1,950 degrees Celsius, and igniting it through an instantaneous application of Thaumaturgical Incantation No. 043. SCP-3844 was capable of speech in at most two languages, and had little knowledge of world events. During interactions with personnel, SCP-3844 took the form of an adult male. 
However, SCP-3844 claimed it could mimic the appearance of any human. This claim has yet to be corroborated by any evidence. SCP-3844 inhabited an immense cavern that contained approximately 5.22 times 10 to the 4th power kilograms of valuable metals, approximately 13.4 million US $1984. SCP-3844 often burrowed underneath these materials, where it presumably sleeps. In conversation, SCP-3844 had confirmed that it is the inspiration behind a number of European myths involving dragons. It also claimed to be the model for the Welsh flag. I used to be red, you know. A vibrant red to match the fire I breathe. Those were indeed good days. Addendum. The following is a transcript of the final interview between O52 and SCP-3844 before SCP-3844 attempted the breach containment. Begin log. Why, hello. I'm a little surprised you showed up. You did ask to speak with the person in charge of your containment. I've been doing this since the beginning. It's not that I expected you to decline my request. I'm surprised you're still upright instead of laying down under the earth somewhere. I mean, it's nothing special. I tried to refuse, but the Council insists they keep their figurehead in pristine condition. It's just a bit of thaumaturgy and temporal technology. It's magic, is what it is. Everything is science when you examine it for long enough. That is more or less what I've learned over the past century or so, which is really too bad. How so? Have you ever looked up at the stars as of late? Not really, no. Regardless, can you tell me what you would see? Stars? But what are stars? Balls of flaming gas. If you want me to be more specific, I could list their chemical components. No, that's fine. I've read up on them myself. However, do you know what a duke once told me many, many years ago when I asked him the same thing? I believe he would have given a much less accurate answer. He said, they're little lights from the heavens. His voice spoke with awe, much like yours when we first met. Are you grieving over the advancement of science? Upset that we can now understand you? No. I'm mourning the death of spectacles and miracles. I wish I could embrace science, but it takes away so much of what I enjoy about this world of ours. It appears I'm allergic to the stuff. Well, I don't have much I can do about that. I understand. It's fine. I think I'll finally have to break our agreement. Although, in fairness, you did not exactly uphold your end. I can't just let you leave. I see no way for you to stop me. I really must be going. My wings have not felt the rush of air in a century, and I can hear my kin's beck and call. You seem quite confident. Confidence is all I have left. I don't want to believe that the world doesn't need its whimsy anymore. End log. SCP-3844 was terminated by the anti-aircraft artillery stationed around its dwelling. However, inspection of SCP-3844's projected trajectory uncovered the remains of a non-anomalous Dracobolaris, a species of lizard known as the Common Flying Dragon. Additionally, the location of SCP-3844 no longer contained a large cavern, but instead a small hole, approximately one meter deep and two meters in diameter. New Iteration Notice from the Records and Information Security Administration. The following is a provisional document, and may contain incorrect or incomplete information. This document is to be updated as investigation progresses. Item Number SCP-3844 Object Class Keter Pending Review Special Containment Procedures O-52 has been assigned to oversee the investigation of SCP-3844 and the development of appropriate long-term containment procedures. Until this time, O-52 will act as necessary to ensure the Foundation objectives are met in regards to the anomaly. Description: SCP-3844 is the collective designation for numerous, large, winged lizards located within the Himalayans, Rockies, Appalachians, 
Andes, and Dolomites. Uploader's Note Dragons. There are still dragons in the mountains.